All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. Some very exciting news to share with you all. Cardano's IOG partners with the United Nations. Incredible news. Also, if you are using Bittrex, so I know that there has been a long wait to be able to withdraw your ADA if you do hold Cardano on Bittrex. Their exchange is now ready to go. So if you are holding your funds on this exchange, you're now able to withdraw your ADA and go ahead and delegate that to a stake pool. If you're interested in doing so, I would recommend that you do that as soon as possible. With the new Epoch coming up here in just a few hours, in Epoch 220, 36% of the blocks will be minted by the community. So Epoch by Epoch, Cardano is becoming more and more decentralized. Also, by popular demand, thank you all so much if you are a delegator to Kaizen Stake Pool. We have went ahead and formulated a support group on Telegram to help answer questions. So if you are a new delegator or even if you've been with us for a while, here you'll be able to find a community of like-minded individuals who can help you answer your questions. And lastly, if you stay till the very end, we'll be looking at some price charts for Cardano, USD, and ADA BTC. So if you all are interested in that type of content, be sure to stay tuned. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. To get things started, incredible news. Cardano's IOG partners with the United Nations to promote blockchain. So the United Nations has had a keen interest in blockchain technology, and this is just one of the most recent initiatives that they're taking to implement certain protocols and projects to actually use this in the real world. They're teaming up with Cardano's IOG to offer the $10,000 bounty for sourcing out sustainable blockchain projects. To qualify for this bounty, you must have a scalable and open source project on the Cardano blockchain. So this is great. Uh, what we're seeing right now with Project Catalyst, there is a whole bunch of proposals being submitted by the community for various things. Uh, you know, our proposal, we've got our Kaizen Cardano podcast, so we want to help to bring news and updates and help to facilitate ideas from developers and bring that to the community. So we've got that going as well. I will be sure to link that in the description if you do want to check that out. But there's a whole bunch of other things too, like uh, what will developers be able to build or what tools will be available for people who are interested in Plutus and Marlowe. So lots of cool things. I think this is a great initiative. And to see the United Nations, that is just mind blowing. Um, about five years ago, the United Nations created a project in charge of sustainable development goals. They came up with a blueprint containing 17 solutions for the numerous challenges in the world. They know that blockchain technology is going to play a key role in the future. Absolutely. And what we're seeing right now with IOG, so they've actually put up $250,000 in project funding. So this is really starting to gear up. And I think that if we do start to see these developers being incentivized by these proposals and actually putting forth viable products in the market, it's going to make Cardano an incredibly competitive and valuable ecosystem. So incredible news coming from the United Nations. This is really going to help drive further adoption of Cardano. Next up, if you're holding your ADA on Bittrex, congratulations, your patience has paid off. Now Bittrex ADA withdrawals and deposits are back in action. You are now able to withdraw your funds. So this is a tweet from Richie Lai. He's saying that, yes, it's happened again. ADA wallets open and processing deposits and withdrawals. So he did apologize for the long delay and thanks the Cardano team for working together. So really incredible. I think this is great. There's lots of ADA that was kind of locked into this exchange due to the complications with migrating over from Byron to Shelley. But glad that the exchange was able to collaborate with IOG. I know Charles Hoskinson did a good job of keeping the community updated with the progress they were making. Right now, just to put things into perspective, so the total supply of ADA state is over 50%. So with this being the case, now with Bittrex opening up ADA withdrawals and deposits, could we potentially see this number go up significantly in the next coming days? Really interesting to see what that's going to look like. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. If you are an ADA holder and if you haven't already delegated to a pool, you want to make sure that you do that before the end of the epoch so you can capture that snapshot. In epoch 220, 36% of the blocks will be minted by community pools. So this is in relation to the D parameter. What this means is that the D parameter will now look like 0.64. 36% of the blocks will be minted by community and 64% will be minted by IOG. 
So this is incredible progress. The deparameter is slowly decrementing, taking us further towards full decentralization. If you are a delegator to Kaizen Crypto Stake Pool, thank you all so much for your support. I really do appreciate everybody's feedback. You know, we're learning and we're growing here together and I wanna help support the community as much as possible. So in order to do this, I've went ahead and created a free Telegram group. This is gonna allow us to establish a community so that if you do have any questions or concerns related to how to delegate to a pool or when you can expect your rewards, uh, this is gonna be where you can go to to find those answers. So if you haven't done so already, please be sure to join our Telegram group. I will leave a link for you all down in the description below. If you are a new delegator, please be sure to consider Kaizen Stake Pool. And lastly, for those of you all have stayed till the very end, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. Here we can see on Sunday, Cardano ADA doing incredibly well. We're looking like breaking that resistance of about 10 cents. So it would be interesting to see if we can get a daily close above that key psychological level. Taking a look at some price charts here, I've got the ADA USD chart pulled up on top and I've got the ADA BTC pair at the bottom. Thank you so much to Cardano Dan for the excellent technical analysis. Taking a look at the ADA USD pair first, we can see that we had definitely dipped below this trend line here. That was a nice little correction we had. And we are now back testing that line of resistance and trying to get over it again as support. So if we are able to close a daily candle above that 10 cent level, I would consider us being able to invalidate this downtrend and uh, hopefully continuing our way upwards. As far as Cardano BTC, we have definitely broken out of this downwards trend that we've been going through for quite a while, pretty much uh, the entire months of September so far. And it uh, looks like we're now able to make a break above this downwards trending line and um, maybe back testing it a little bit before continuing our leg higher against Bitcoin. So really interesting to see Cardano USD, Cardano BTC really gearing up with all the developments happening with Cardano. Interesting to see what will happen to the price. So guys, that is what I have for you all here today. If you did enjoy this content, please be sure to drop a like for me. If you are new to the channel and if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button for Cardano content. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.